We explained to you before that Allah contained two words. Al Lah. And now you can go and search for the God which is Lah. And you will find that La is the moon god. Now, the Muslim, they will say to you, well, the Quran says, don't worship the moon, neither the sun. So how you say, uh, you know, our God is the name of the moon god? That will not change the fact that still La is the moon god. Muslim themselves, they don't even know where the name is coming from because all of Islam is a, is a theft of other religions. However, if we go in the Quran, we will find the Quran speaking about that the Arab, they believe that their God, Allah, or Allah, which means Allah, he have the daughters. If we ask ourselves, if we go with the Muslims and we say, okay, you know what? Allah is not the moon god. How in the world the Arab they come with those daughters? If you notice with me here, you see when the Muslim they try to deny that their god Allah, his name is not Allah, it is Allah, you will notice here is the same exactly in their book. Do you notice with me? Al Lat. Do you see it? Al Uzza. Those are goddess. Those are the three daughters of Allah and Manat. <clears throat> and the reason Al Manat does not have Manat because this is this is the goddess of death. As some scholars they say. However, Alat, which means God Alat, Al Uzza, God Al Uzza. Your God is not the moon God, but yet the Arab believe that the sun God married from the moon God and they have three daughters. So, how in the world does this happen? If your God is not the moon God, what made the Arab for centuries and centuries, including the families of Muhammad? Believe in Allah in such a way. If Allah is not the moon god who married from the sun god and he had three daughters. Guys, do you understand what I'm saying? Somebody saying, well, Islam and Christianity both are false or stupid. <laughs> Jesus created the atmosphere. Well, you tell me who created then. Maybe it's you. Maybe you who created the atmosphere. Maybe you can tell me who created you. So, you notice here, if the Muslim they try to avoid saying that Allah is not the moon God, as they claim, then they have to answer for something very, very strong evident that yes, Allah is the moon god. If you go and search in, in, in Google, search for the reason Allah he been called that he have three daughters. Simply because this is what the Arab they believed, that Allah marry from the sun god and they have children's which is the three daughters. Now Muhammad, he is a person who came under the influence of Judaism and Christianity. So he rejected the idea that Allah has three daughters, but still he approved the same Allah. So now he stripped them from the three daughters, but still he adopted the same God they worship. So nothing changed. All what he said, I don't believe he have three daughters. Now, if you read the Quran, 
you will find that supposedly Allah complaining which is showing us that the one who made the Quran is an idiot when Allah he mentioned that the Arab they gave him three daughters Allah and al Uzza and Manat the third one Allah he said to them huh are yours the males and his the females Allah complaining not about having children Allah complain about having children which is girls and the funny the Muslim they say to us the Quran says that the Arab they used to have a bad face if they heard that their wife she gave birth to a daughter <laughs> but look look here the one who have a bad face and complain is Allah Allah is complaining and not only he is complaining he says indeed this is unfair division <laughs> and here you notice that Muhammad when he made this verse he was trying to convince the Arab that it is not suitable for Allah and it's not fair to give him daughters and for you you have the boys And here you will see how funny and stupid the argument is. Let us say Allah trying to convince me that he have no daughters. What does this have to do with saying, oh, huh, for you, the males, and for me, the females? For sure, this is unfair. You know what I mean? So Muhammad, he was, because he hate females, he'd look at them down. The Arab they worship females as gods. Muhammad he considered the females as sex toys. So because of that, Muhammad he rejected the idea that he, Allah, he have three daughters to believe in. But then we see that Muhammad he believed that even he killed one of the daughters of Allah. Who of you remember the story of Al Uzza? Anyone remember? If you have the link for it in English, somebody can share it with me, please. According to Muhammad, he sent Khalid bin Walid to kill the daughter of Allah, Al Uzza, and he killed her. Now think about it. If Muhammad don't believe really that Allah have three daughters as the Quran here is saying to us how it look like it how then Muhammad claim that he sent his own man to kill Al Uzza if there is no Uzza let me see if I can find the hadith in Arabic in English sorry All right. <clears throat> um, this is a Muslim website. It's called abdurrahman.org. The article is Khalid ibn Walid killing the devil at the idol al uzza tafsir ibn kathir he killed al uzza not the devil he killed al uzza let us go to ibn kathir and see what it says The Kaaba beside the three idols that Allah mentioned in his glorious book. Allah mentioned these three 
here because they were more famous than others. And Nisa'i recorded from, from, from that he said that when the messenger conquered Mecca, he sent Khalid bin Walid to the area of Nakhla, where the idol of Al-Uzza was erected on the three trees of the forest uh, of the forest. Khalid, uh, Khalid cut out the, the three trees and approached the house, built around it and destroyed it. When he went back the prophet to the prophet and informed him of the story, the prophet said to him, go back, you did not finish your mission. Khalid, he went back. And when he, like when he arrived there again, he found, he found, somebody calling who was calling me now he found uh, he found al uzza there he found the women that was al uzza muhammad ibn ishaq narrated allat belong to the tribe of uh, uh, taif in the area of a taif Bani, etc. So every every god belonged to a tribe. And then he found Al Uzza, and Al Uzza was a woman. And this woman, she have a dark skin. And then Khaled he killed her, slaughtered her, and uh, he came back to Muhammad and he told him, I killed this woman, which is Al Uzza. And then Muhammad, he said to him, okay, you now you finish your job. Do you see it? So when Muhammad, he confirmed in his story that he killed Al-Uzza, that means Muhammad himself, he believed that Al-Uzza and Manat and Allat is a three person, three women, they are exist, they are real. He start invoking by calling Al-Uzza. When Khalid approached it, he found it, he found the naked women whose hair was uh, untidy and who was throwing sand on her, in her head. Khalid killed her with the sword and went back to the Messenger of Allah, who he said to him, this is Al-Uzza. Do you see it? How Muhammad don't believe that Allah have three daughters, and then Muhammad, he killed Al-Uzza. And she is a real woman. And as you see, we are not showing you our own our own books. This is the book of Ibn Kathir. And this is the Muslim forest translation as usual. So the Muslim, they try to cover always the roots of their cult, that it is the moon god who had sex with the sun god and has three daughters. And here we go. Even their prophet himself, he believe that he is the one who killed Al-Uzza. What more we need more than this? As a proof. If this is not enough for us to prove that Muhammad, he himself believed in Al-Uzza, what else is going to prove it to us?